Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about the oil capacity and the oil viscosity in the new 2014 Chevrolet and GMC pickups that are hitting the market right now uh, that are equipped with the new Ecotec 3 engines. Uh, these engines range from a new 4.3 liter V6 which replaces the old 4.3 liter V6 uh, that's been around for many, many years. And then there's a new 5.3 liter V8, uh, which replaces really the 4.8 and 5.3 liter uh, previous generation uh, small block LS series engines. And then there's the uh, 6.2 liter, uh, which is the largest of the engine family of the new Ecotec 3. This is the same engine uh, basic design that goes in the new Corvette. Uh, and this replaces the 6.0 liter engine that was found in a lot of the previous uh, heavy duty pickups. And I think it was also available in the max towing uh, versions of some of the light duty pickups as well. Uh, but one of the things that people are starting to kind of be surprised about uh, that, are, that have purchased these new trucks is the amount of oil that they hold and the type of oil or viscosity of oil that they're calling for. Uh, in the case of the 4.3 liter V6, it's not too big of a change. Uh, they're only going from uh, normally like five quarts up to six quarts, and they're still calling for the 5W30 uh, Dexos 1 oil, which uh, that's no change from the vast majority of General Motors products for the past um, you know, many, many years uh, they've been calling for a 5W30. Uh, the only change was relatively recently they called for the, uh, the use of Dexos 1 uh, or Dexos 2 approved oils uh, across the GM fleets there. Uh, and most of that was a 5W30. Uh, but what the big change that people are noticing is that the 5.3 liter engine and the 6.2 liter engine both have an eight and a half quart, that's 8.5 quart sump capacity, and they're now calling for 0W20 viscosity oil. Uh, again, that's a Dexos 1 uh, uh, grade of oil uh, or uh, classification of oil. And that's basically a, uh, if you use the General Motors or AC Delco uh, oil, that is a synthetic blend oil. Uh, that oil specification that General Motors put out here a couple years ago with Dexos 1 uh, has got a pretty high uh, quality requirement to it. And so about the, the lowest quality of oil that will meet those uh, specifications in General Motors' eyes is a, a synthetic blend. Uh, however, a lot of uh, users are just going ahead and moving up to a full synthetic to meet that requirement. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to talk about here uh, on this video was, you know, A, why are they going to a 0W20, and B, why do they increase the sump capacity so much? Uh, you know, these vehicles are equipped with an oil life monitoring system uh, that measures uh, number of startups, the mileage, the temperature, uh, you know, several other variables. It measures driving time, idling time. Uh, and all of those factors uh, count against the oil life. Uh, and when the oil life reaches a predetermined uh, point where it needs to be changed, then that signals the driver uh, with a change oil light, uh, hey, it's time for an oil change. Uh, a few years ago, there was a national survey done by General Motors, and they determined that the average oil change for vehicles equipped with oil, oil life monitoring systems was around 8,500 miles uh, before the light would go off or come on, as you, however you want to look at it. Um, and that's probably only gotten longer uh, as more and more vehicles have uh, started using these systems and they've gone up to higher and higher quality oils, especially with Dexos 1 being uh, basically a synthetic blend. Uh, but back on these new engines that, that are calling for 0W20, we're now seeing 0W20 in pickups. And these are high horsepower, high torque, high performing engines. Um, you know, these engines incorporate uh, several uh, high tech te uh, 
technologies such as variable valve timing. Uh, they've also got uh, cylinder shutdown technology, and now they have direct injection. Uh, you know, so they're, these are as high tech as they come. Um, but one of the things that General Motors had to do was to continue to show improvements in fuel economy. So one of the ways that car companies have known for several years now, or actually for a long time, they've been implementing it for several years, is when they switch to a lower viscosity or lighter oil, you know, so when we look back over time, you know, cars that were made in the 1970s mostly called for 10W40. Uh, then when we got into the 80s, that started switching or changing down to a 10W30. Uh, and then pretty quickly, we moved down to a 5W30. Uh, and then you had several car companies here, you know, within the past 10 years, start calling for a 5W20. And then really when the hybrids were introduced uh, a few years ago, you started seeing 0W20 hit the market. And now you're starting to see that 0W20 uh, spread. You know, so those lower viscosity oils are quickly becoming uh, the most prevalent oil viscosity out there. Uh, you know, 5W30 is probably still at least 50% of the market, uh, but 5W20 and 0W20 are quickly uh, gaining ground. And again, they're doing that to increase fuel economy. Um, you know, so, uh, but one of the problems that they have with these uh, high performing engines is that when they go down to that 0W20 engine oil, uh, some of these engines, depending upon how they're driven and how often you change your oil, uh, will start to use oil. So when we're trying to run a 0W20 uh, conventional or even a synthetic blend oil uh, on an extended drain interval, uh, you're going to start experiencing oil consumption, or you're going to notice your engine is, quote, using oil. Uh, and so that's why I believe they've switched to, or, uh, you know, increased the oil capacity of these engines so that the average driver won't run out of oil in between oil changes. You know, so it's, it's always good to have more oil on board because that allows your engine oil to work less. You know, it's actually in the engine, uh, up in the engine, actually lubricating and protecting things uh, less when you have the same engine with an increased oil capacity. Uh, and that's basically what these L, uh, new engines are. They are, uh, they're completely redesigned, but physically they're about the same size as the engines they replaced. And so there's not that much additional workload inside of these engines. Uh, so we have an increase in sump capacity, and one of the reasons for that has to be uh, protection of the engine over an extended drain period uh, with lower viscosity oil. So um, one of the things that you can do to better protect yourself on these new engines, uh, these are technological, um, you know, inc incredibly in high-tech engines. They run great, they produce great power, they get good fuel economy compared to the engines that they are replacing, uh, but oil is the lifeblood of these engines. The variable valve timing systems on them is controlled with oil. Um, you know, they have uh, very high-tech uh, camshaft systems in them. Uh, they're using oil to cool the pistons now. Uh, so they're just, they're increasing the workload on the oil. So the best thing that you can do is run a better oil in these engines. Uh, you can continue to follow the extended drain uh, intervals allowed by the oil life monitoring system or even go farther than that. Uh, but you've got to be using a better oil. And oil that simply meets Dexos 1 oil standards uh, isn't necessarily the best oil that's available for your engine. Uh, AMS Oil sells three different lines of oil. And you can check those out here on our channel here on YouTube. There's uh, the, the entry level for AMS oil is the OE line of oils. And those are designed to meet whatever the original equipment manufacturer's oil drain interval was. So that would uh, match up perfectly if you wanted to drain your oil or change your oil 
in accordance with the oil life monitoring system. Uh, the next step up from AMSOIL's perspective is the XL line, and that is a 10,000 mile or six month oil, whichever of those uh, occurs first. Uh, and so if, if you change your oil, uh, or if you drive about 20,000 miles a year, uh, then you can change your oil uh, once at the halfway point, you know, at the six month, 10,000 mile point, and then change it again uh, six months, 10,000 miles later, and you have a perfect matchup there. Uh, but for the ultimate protection and the true AMSOIL extended drain uh, experience, I'll call it, uh, then move on up to the signature series uh, and you'll uh, have the true experience of an AMSOIL extended drain where you're enjoying anywhere from 15 to 25,000 mile drain intervals or, or once a year. Uh, this is the flagship oil of AMSOIL, the signature series. Uh, it is the, uh, the, the continuation of the original oil developed by AMSOIL clear back in 1972. Um, and so if you want the full AMSOIL experience and you want to put the very best oil that is available on the market in your vehicle, uh, then move to the AMSOIL Signature Series. Uh, I'll have a link down below this video in the discussion box. It'll be a tiny URL uh, that will take you to the AMSOIL Motor Oil uh, page, and you'll be able to look at all the different oils that are available there, including a 0W20 and a 5W30, along with several other viscosities. Uh, and you can do some more research there and uh, if you decide to make a purchase, you can do it right from there. Uh, there also, there's another link down below about the AMSOIL Preferred Customer Program. Preferred customers can save anywhere from 20 to 25% on AMSOIL products when they purchase them uh, off of the retail price. And uh, it's very simple to become a preferred customer. You can add it to your shopping cart when you place your first order, or you can call up AMSOIL and ask them about signing up to be a preferred customer and you just give them your phone number and your email address and your name and address and they'll sign you up and then you can call up or go online and place your orders in the future and uh, AMSOIL will ship those products right to your door at wholesale pricing. It's a very convenient way to get AMSOIL sent right to your house. So that's it for now. Our website is right here, MinutemanPerformance.com. We're also over on Facebook or uh, yes, at Facebook at uh, AMSOIL Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, we're obviously here on YouTube as well, uh, AMSOIL Synthetic Oil Info. So please subscribe to our page here and like our videos as you watch them, if you would, please. That helps us get seen by other people so we can help them solve their most difficult and challenging oil filtration and lubrication uh, problems and questions, just like we're hopefully helping you now. So thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a great day and we'll hope to see you on another video real soon.